When I first got started in photography, if a client asked me for prints, the whole process was so cumbersome that I would just recommend that they just got them printed up at Costco. But today, it's easier than ever to offer your photography clients prints. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a store, how to price your prints, and a bonus tip that will all but guarantee print sales. As a wedding and portrait photographer, your clients hire you because you preserve their memories. And while most people say that they only want digitals, the truth is clients value prints more than digitals. So offering prints is a great way not only to make money, but also to serve your clients better. So step one is to make sure that your client gallery system offers print sales. There are a ton of options out there for ways to send your photos to clients. And personally, my favorite is CloudSpot. They simply just have the most uh, robust set of features to help photographers save time and make more money. They also have a free account if you are just getting started and you're not ready for a monthly subscription. And that means that you have absolutely no excuse to be sending photos to your clients using something like Google Drive or Dropbox. But I don't hold that against you because when I first started off, that's what I used because like CloudSpot, they had a free account. But the amount of time I spent answering emails and playing customer support was, was unreal. And all of that just delivered a terrible last impression with my clients, which all but ensured that they would never come back to me to get their photos taken again. With CloudSpot, it is super easy to set up an online store, giving your clients tons of options and earning you extra money. And that brings us to step two, what do you offer? CloudSpot integrates with all of the major print labs, which means that they have a million and one different options to offer your clients. But when it comes to printed products, I like to keep it super easy. Four by sixes, five by sevens, eight by tens, three different canvases and albums, and that's it. But when I first set up an online store, I offered everything that my print lab had to offer. I thought I wanna offer my clients anything that they could possibly want, and I wanna give them every opportunity to give me money as possible. But get this, once I trimmed down on my print offerings, my sales skyrocketed. Because here's the thing, most non-photographers like your clients, they don't know the difference between paper types and finishes, and offering them a million and one different options is overwhelming. And that leads to decision fatigue. So if you have an online store right now and you're not making consistent sales, well then just consider trimming down on some of those print options. And also, if you have that online store, I would love to know what is your most popular product. Leave it in a comment below and let others know what are people actually buying. So now that we have a select number of print options in our store, that brings us to step number three, how much do we charge for prints? If you Google how much to sell prints for, the common answer is four to seven times your cost of goods. All right, on to step four, I'm just kidding. That answer really depends on kind of where you're at in photography, right? If you're newer, uh, then charge that four times cost of goods. If you are more established and you feel confident that whenever you go out uh, to a shoot that you can come back and deliver the quality of photos that your clients are looking for, well, then maybe try seven times. The truth is there are just a ton of variables uh, to give you a direct answer, but I do think that four to seven times cost of goods is a pretty good starting point. So then the next question is, how do we figure out our cost of goods? And I'm glad that you asked because the short answer is you actually don't have to. With CloudSpot, you can actually create a global markup. Let's go ahead and enter in 400%. And because we hate ugly numbers, round that up to the nearest 99 cents. And now you're done. Yeah, it was that easy. Now, before we move on to step number four, you may be asking yourself, why would clients buy photos from me for several dollars when they could just go to Costco and buy them for 25 cents? And the answer, honestly, it's pretty simple. It's the same reason why services like DoorDash and Uber Eats are popular. Why would you pay a $6 delivery fee for a $5 hamburger? Because of convenience. It's done for you and then you don't even have to leave the house. Your clients will pay for that convenience of being able to buy prints right in front of them in the gallery that you sent over. And the second part of that is that, well, you gave them good service and you built up a rapport. They know that you will take care of them and if any you know issues come up in the process, they know that they can reach out to you for some help. When you deliver a beautiful experience, your clients will take your skills, your product, and you more seriously. And now that brings us to step number four. Give your clients a reason to buy prints from you. You know that phrase, if you build it, they will come? Well, that's not necessarily true. Just because you took the time to create the perfect product offerings and you took, well, literally seconds to create the perfect pricing doesn't mean that clients are gonna be knocking down your doors to buy prints from you. Trust me, I know that this is true. And unfortunately, this led me to believe for too long that clients simply don't want prints. All they want is digitals. But that wasn't true. I just simply wasn't giving them a reason to buy prints. Creating desire is super important. Apple, the most valuable company in the world, only markets to desire. They don't waste their time telling you about tech specs. No, they show you people using their products so that you can look at them and think, 
I want to do that. I'm going to go out and buy their products. So from your first interaction with your client, talk about the importance of prints. Ask them what photo they see hanging over their mantel place. Ask them if they have photos of their family and friends posted around their house. Remind them that prints are important to them. Okay, next, uh, actually this tip that I'm gonna share with you has generated more than $3,000 a year in print sales for me. When I deliver a wedding or an engagement session, I surprise them with an unexpected print credit. For a wedding, I give them a $100 print credit. The psychology is if you have $100, you don't just wanna waste it. Because you know the importance of prints, you're already gonna get prints anyway, so this $100 print credit is just the push to get that done. And shout out to CloudSpot for making it crazy easy to create and deliver digital gift cards. If you followed the cost of goods exercise earlier, then you know that you know a $100 print credit is really only 10 to $15 in product cost for you. And therefore, if they just buy one print over the $100 print credit, well, now you've made yourself a handsome little profit. I'm telling you, it works. For smaller sessions like an engagement, you could try to offer a timed coupon code. When you deliver the gallery, give them a coupon code that is good for 30% off for the next 24 hours. 24 hours is to encourage them to use it. Again, if you have something, you don't want it to go to waste. Creating a timed coupon code is also crazy easy to do in CloudSpot. Just go ahead and copy the code and then attach it in the email that you deliver to your clients. And that's it. I walked you through why prints are important, what prints to offer, how much to charge, and how to actually move product. Look, as a photographer, your time is already stretched thin from shooting, email, social media. Making money needs to be your number one priority. Selling prints is just simply one of the easiest ways to ensure that money keeps coming in and you're properly serving your client.